Hello everyone, this is Lydia from Ningbe Machinery. Glad to see you again. Today, I'd like to introduce you our Straw Channel Road Forming Machine. Straw Channel has multiple uh, use in uh, many sections. For example, the Straw Channel can be used uh, as a support in cable tree or cable letter system. Uh, and besides, it can be used in photovoltaic structures. Uh, so today let's have a look about this reforming production line. Now we are at the beginning of the whole production line. Uh, this line starts from the decoiler part and I will introduce you our uh, decoiler with leveler equipment. Uh, here in the decoiler part, you can see we put a steel co roll coil here and it, it is controlled by hydraulic and uh, motorized control. Uh, the hydraulic part can expand and shrink, so it will uh, support the inside diameter perfectly. And the running is by motor. Uh, when the line is producing, the motor will keep, uh, uh, keep loosen the coil. And now you can see uh, the steel will go through here. This is a leveler part. Some customer asked about this equipment. Uh, because we use it for many reforming production lines now because it can save space for our customer. Uh, the previous version of our decoiler and the leveler, they are separate two devices. Uh, from the decoiler to the leveler part, you have to put like three uh, meters long for the distance uh, between the decoiler and the leveler. But with this equipment, uh, it shortens the distance of the whole production line. It is also convenient for the work space. After the decoiling and the leveling part, we will go into the uh, punching system. On this production line, we will produce 2 mm and 2.5 mm thickness. Uh, we use uh, Yang Li brand JH21 plus 80, this model, this press machine. Uh, it is a pneumatic control system. Uh, before the punching system, we have the server photo, the, uh, the server feeder system. The server feeder is controlled by the server motor. We use Yaskawa brand. Uh, it is a very good Japanese brand. It has a high precision. So each step of feeding, we, uh, we control the uh, precision. We control the tolerance of whole distance and the whole position. After the punching system, here we go into a storage track. Some customer doesn't allow to make pit on their factory, so we provide this storage track. The steel strip can go up through and it will save your factory space. Now we are going to the reforming machine part. Uh, this reforming machine will produce 41 plus 21, 41 plus 41, and 41 plus 62, three sides, and with thickness 2 millimeters and 2.5 millimeters. So our machine is designed very strong, big, and resistant. Uh, for, the, for the feeding part, we have the digital shows because when the steel go into the reforming part, it has always been in the central line of the reforming of the rollers. So it is very important for customers to note all the numbers of the lev uh, feeding part. About the support of machine, you can see we use the cast iron stand. It is very strong and big, so it can give the machine a very good a stability when it produce. For the transmission, we use the dual box drive. You can see the size is bigger. This machine is very strong to use for at least 10 years with no problem. We have uh, 28 reforming stands here. The more uh, forming stands, the profile will goes out more beautiful, more stable, considering it's 
um, tensile strength and yield strength. All the rollers here are crowned and uh, they are very resistant. They have a 0 0.5, 0 0.5 uh, millimeter uh, thickness chrome. Now we will go into, I will introduce you about how to change the spacers. Here you can see we have the spacers. You can take this space, this spacer out and put this spacer out of here, then you can produce different size. We have the special video for this one. If you're interested, you can check our spacer change video. The last part is the uh, uh, flying shear part. Before the shear, we uh, always have a system we have to consider the yield strength and tensile strength of the raw material. So these more rollers to make sure the final profile joint came out perfectly. The, the sides are straight, very important for the uh, reforming part. And for the cutting part system, we use a hydraulic, uh, we use a hydraulic cutting system. It has four columns here. We didn't use a saw cut because some customers think uh, the saw cut need to change the blades always. It will always have a big uh, cost for the changing blades. And besides, the saw cut has a very big noise. So uh, some customers can't allow it in their factory. We offer this hydraulic cutting system. Uh, but the thing is, when you produce the hydraulic system, you have to change the cutting blades because we have three sides here. You have to change cutting blades for each size. This flying system we use is with Yaska is controlled by Yaskawa brand uh, motor. We measure the lens with coil brand encoder, and here we also have this is a sensor. We measure the lens. Consider this sensor. So we can control the cutting, the flying cutting uh, lens tolerance. We can control it under one millimeter for each piece. This is a finished profile strut channel. Uh, you can see from the video, our production speed is very fast, especially at the punch press part. All the cutting lens is the same. If you are also interested in our strut channel reforming machine, please feel free to contact with Linfei Machinery. We are reliable and a trusty manufacturer. We offer a five years warranty for the roller shafts, motors, and two years for whole production line. If you have any question, please feel free to contact with Lydia. See you next time. Bye bye.